Hello and a very good evening. Welcome back to Crafters TV. Indeed, if you're just joining us for the first time, hello, a very warm welcome to you. It is our final show of this wet and windy Wednesday here in the UK. My name is Ben Mose, but I tell you what, it is absolutely miserable out there. Storm Christoph is doing his absolute worst. But I tell you what, it is nice weather if you just want to stay indoors, get cosy and do a bit of crafting. And we finished the day as we began it. Well, we actually started the day with Wake Up, wake up Call with uh, Liam, but you know what I mean. Uh, we've got our Craft Vault show and Craft Vault is all about bringing you some amazing deals. Quick fire show, because it's only an hour, this show, but what the headline that you need to know about this show is, you buy an item on this show, you get the second for one P, one penny. I say, what? I am not lying, and just to prove to you that I'm not lying, uh, here's Jan nodding in agreement that that's what the show is all about. Jan, it's... am I lying or am I not lying? No, I was absolutely amazed when I saw the spec for the show, Ben. I'm just thinking, a penny? Hello. Seriously, a Hello. penny? Hello. And some of them are, honestly, blow my mind earlier when I was watching you earlier. Uh, I'm thinking, really? And I had to go and check the figures on my list to make sure that everything was right. Absolutely. It is one of those shows where we do genuinely go back to the sheet that we get of everything that's coming up and you go, is that is that actually right? What I will say to you is we're going to preview um, some items on the show. We're going to show you some of the items which are hugely popular earlier on. But head to the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu, and you will see all of the deals that are laid out. We had a deal that sold out before we could even bring it to you a little bit earlier on. But there is one deal on this show, um, which is uh, a set of um, nesting dies, your... Um, uh, Multimedia dice, that's the phrase I'm looking for, it's been a long day, We're worth $24.99 each. You get the first one for $24.99, you get the second one for one P, one penny. And as I said earlier on, what can you get for a penny these days? You can't even get penny sweets for a penny. So literally, this is an unbelievable show. Fast and furious, we're going to try and fire in as many demos as we can, but... Let's get kicking and get started with something which proved hugely popular earlier on and we are uh, creeping up over 35% of the stock gone from Totally Tiffany, the rotating board. Now, as I said earlier on, this was one of those items that I would not seen. I, I want to say it was probably back in October, November time. I'd heard a lot about this and uh, I'd never actually seen it. And it was Fiona who was going on and on and on about this, saying what an amazing bit of kit it was. And it wasn't until we got it in stock and she demoed it and showed me how amazing it was that I can't, the penny sort of dropped, the penny dropped, sorry, see what I did there? Uh, the penny dropped just a little bit and it was actually like, this is an amazing bit of kit. It's such a simple design, but it's such a simple thing that you might be looking at this now, rotating board and going, well, why, why do I want that in my life? Once you get this home and you use it for yourself, you will kind of think, how did I ever manage without it? And we'll explain more with Jan in just a few moments' time. But this rotating design board, if you are someone who's into your colouring, someone who's into your sketching, your drawing, even if you're into um, kind of, you know, uh, doing soft craft as well, this is so handy because it allows you to manipulate whatever you're working because the board uh, rolls around 360 degrees. If you are somebody who is, um, you know, short of craft space, it's amazing because you can work with this on your lap as well. It's just brilliant. And we'll see it over there. Now, the board is worth 15.99. However, we are throwing into the mix for 1p, how much? 1p, I know, this amazing um, sentiment stamp. So this is included for a penny. It is absolutely gorgeous. Nice big stamp. Uh, you've got the hello, uh, and then you've got those gorgeous flowers that you can colour in as well. So you get that for a penny. The rotating board is amazing. And to back me up on all of that, hopefully, uh, is Jan. <laughs> this rotating board, right, such a simple concept, but isn't it brilliant? Honestly, it's revolutionary, Ben. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this before in my crafting lifetime. And I just think what a simple idea, but allows you so much scope with whether it's your stamping, if it just anchoring something like we, I know I was watching uh, you and Leanne earlier on today and she was talking about her soft crafts and things like that. But honestly, it, it is, it's, it's just a simple, you know, one finger and you've got 360 rotation both ways. 
So depending on what you're working with, you get the bulldog clip comes with it. And again, this can be fastened. You know, if you prefer to have it anchored at the side, you can have it at the top, wherever you want to position it. So I've actually pinched, don't tell our Leanne, but I pinched her stamping that she was doing earlier look. And I know she was doing a little bit of colouring with the illustrators, but absolutely perfect. You know, I'm going to pop it this way because I've, this side's already done. But it just literally allows you, you know, whatever angle you're comfortable with. So once you take your pens... That other side, by the way, was me having a bit of a scribble. If you're looking at that and going, well, that's not very good. Uh, <laughs> that was... I had a little bit of a go on it I'll earlier. let you off. So, but thanks. again, you know, I, I, I was... Uh, as I say, I was watching earlier and Leanne was talking about the fact that she tends to have things at an angle. And I must admit, I can associate with that. I'm comfortable at that angle rather than literally trying yeah. to do it this way and being at a really strange angle. I nearly always turn my paper on my iPad when I'm working so the fact that you've got this you know and like particularly with something like this that's a flower I can literally just turn it round as I go and whichever place I want to work at yeah I've got clear access to it you're not worried about leaning on something that you've already colored in that might not be dry smudging something if you've been doing you know even just writing a letter uh, you know it may be that you want to actually just put this on the board as a, a base so that you can get it at the right angle but wherever you want it to work literally just positioning it and it is so comfortable the fact that you can literally anchor your work down means that you've not got to worry about anything slipping out of place while you're working on it and literally it, i'm just moving it with my hand as to where it's comfortable to actually go with the flow as i'm i'm, I'm coloring in here so wherever i want to actually apply this color down onto my stamp literally by hand is actually doing the work for me and turning this round and i just think as I say, such a simple idea, yeah. but what an excellent way to actually improve or allow you to improve your skills with whatever your art, your craft may be, whether it's stamping, whether it's anchoring something in place. I know Leanne was talking about a husband with his sketching. Yeah. You know, quite a few people that are artists and things, whether it's actually keeping your uh, fabrics in place while you're laying out a design. It might just be, we were talking earlier about uh, having the facility to what I call lay out a design dry. Yeah. So even in card making, you know, if you're wanting to sort of get something straight, holding your mats and layers in place while you decide where your topper wants to go. So many different things for it. And such, as I said, such a simple idea. Really robust as well. Yeah. But it's only sort of A4, so it's not going to take a massive amount of room. You know, you could have it stacked sort of on its side alongside it's not going to take up a lot of room in your craft room there but there you can see the working you mechanism. can just see if we can get a little peek down yeah. there let me see where do we need to be that there the, look there you can see the uh, the workings inside all those little ball bearings that are allowing it to do the turning we're having a little zoom here we go I george is on the joystick look he's going it. in look he's that. going in absolutely stunning you can see that's what allows that 360 rotation 360 degree rotation on it and honestly it is absolutely brilliant i think i have a, i'll be honest ben i haven't got one of these and i think when i get home tonight i'm going to be hoping that they're still in stock because i think i need to add this to my collection hey, i we, love coloring yeah yeah you can't go too far wrong and, and, and as you see so handy for lots of different crafts love the fact that that bulldog clip you can you can take it off and, and pop it on if you want to use it portrait if you want to use it landscape and i'm glad that you saw that as well because a lot of people earlier on were asking is it two bits that you have to fit together no it is literally one um solid rotating board with those ball bearings in and the actual um, board itself is nice and uh, sturdy it's not it a is. flimsy bit of kit yeah there you go really yeah, really, really sturdy. solid yeah so it's perfect you know if you're someone who likes to craft um on your lap of an evening if you like to craft on the go this really is absolutely super for that and that little stamp that you're uh, seeing there as well you're getting as part of this deal for a penny um so absolutely worth going for uh almost well we're heading towards 40 percent of the stock gone on this i would grab it whilst you can because i truly believe it's not until you actually get this home and try it for yourself that you'll see uh just how much this will improve your crafting life um lots of lovely messages already coming in let's do a, a quick roll call um gilmore says hello from michigan evelyn says good afternoon from beautiful colorado it's not beautiful here evelyn i'll tell you that um hang on a minute Pro producer george has gone i love how you call it what michigan that's how, that's, what, that's what it's called isn't it all right hang on a minute Gilmore, how Mich do you... It's a sh. Is it? Michigan. Michigan. What did Mich I say? It's spelt Michigan, isn't Michigan. it? Michigan. Yeah. Mich. Yeah. Gilmore, can I get away with Michigan? I've always called it Michigan. <laughs> Don't you start correcting me on words. I had this a couple of, uh, couple of weeks ago and we'll not go back into that again. Michigan. Michigan. 
Um, hi from. Uh, <laughs> Let's not start talking about peacock feathers dropping out the sky either. If you don't know what we're talking about, watch the earlier show, uh, the Creative Craving oh, Show. Dear. Hi from uh, West Bend, Wisconsin, says Patty. Uh, Sally says, hi and all. Hi one and all from a very wet North Devon. Sally, where, where are you from in North Devon? Um, let us know where you're from. I'm from, I'm from, um, I'm from South Devon uh, originally. And um, uh, director George also from Devon. Where are you from again? In North, you're from North Devon, aren't you, George? Braunton. There we go. I'm from Brixham, Brixham, Braunton. Sally, where are you from? We want to know. Um, Fred171 says, uh, heading up Ben's Brigade for one more show. Oh, yeah, got my own little, little uh, group now. Ben's Brigade. It wasn't me that named it that. Ben's Brigade, apparently. I love that. Uh, do you want to be in Ben's Brigade, George and George? They said no. Um, and Janet says, hello, everyone. Few more messages. Kerry saying, I'm watching again because Jan always teaches me something new. Panda Craft says, hello, everyone, for the final hour. One of my crafty favourites, the rotating board, says Mary Pat. And Christine says, your or this board is unmissable for crafters. So pleased I bought it. Get yours now. Honestly, you will not... Um, you, you, will, you will not regret it because it's such a brilliant bit of kit. Uh, if you want to get in touch, you can get in touch on Facebook and on YouTube over the course of the next 45 minutes or so. Any questions, any comments, anything you want to uh, throw our way, any pronunciations you want to correct me on um, is absolutely fine. Uh, whatever you want to do. Right, oh, apparently Gilmore has already got back. How do you pronounce it? Oh, it is Michigan. Gilmore, why didn't you never tell me? I've been saying it wrong all this time. I'm sure, I'm sure some people say Michigan as well. Oh, and people from Michigan are referred to as what? Michiganders. <laughs> well, I never did. Um, Gilmore, thank you so much. We've learnt so much today. Honestly, this has been the weirdest of days with some of the stuff we've chatted about. Anyway, <laughs> Terry Tom on Facebook saying, Ben, please pronounce D-E-S-M-O-I-N-E-S. -E -S. De Desmoines. <laughs> Des I don't know, I've never seen that word before. Desmoines. Desmoines, it's Desmoines, isn't it? Desmoines. <laughs> Jan, how do you pronounce that? No idea, no idea. D-E-S-M-O-I-N-S, -E it must be Desmoines. Desmoines, Des I would Des have said. It's not Desmoines. O-I, Desmoines. Um, I've, oh yeah, we're out, there's a, there's a, there's a division there, right. isn't there? Over the course of this show, if you live in a place that we can't pronounce, can you please send, uh, send it in? Phonetically. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, just send it in. We'll try and pronounce it, and then you have to let us know. I've just said oh. my water bottle's beyond. Uh, <laughs> you, you can tell us whether we're pronouncing it correctly or not. Right, let's move on from that to uh, the storage bag. Right, this is particularly handy if you are um, somebody who has already got your Gemini Junior and you need somewhere to store your plates. Um, this is absolutely perfect because of course it is the Gemini Junior storage bag. But the brilliant thing about this, and we were talking about this earlier on, it's a super handy size for lots of goodies as well because if you're someone who wants to store um, like your projects in there, it's absolutely perfect for that. Just as a general sort of craft bag um, as well, um, this is amazing. You can pop all of your bits and pieces in there, you know, lots of pens and um, all that kind of stuff in there. So it is perfect for that as well. And as I said earlier on, this would be perfect just for popping your sandwiches in as well, wouldn't it really, you know, if you're a little bit of a hungry uh, person like I am. But the point is, with this, you get the um, plate storage bag for 5 99 and then for 1p, you get... Um, from the Crafty Fun Collection, this really cool die set. Again, if you missed this earlier on, uh, Leanne did a demo with this little um, die set earlier. It is really, really cute. You've got that little uh, palette with the, uh, the paintbrush as well with that. Uh, and as I say, you can refer back to our earlier show if you want to see the demo on that. $5.99, and then you're getting that die for 1p. Right, next up, let's go under the counter, bend and stretch. Uh, we have got th this collection, uh, which is the uh, Art Liner um, collection with the Nina card. So the Art Liners are back in stock and you're taking those home today for um, £12.99. So again, if you're um, into your sketching, if you're into your drawing, um, a great way to kind of just add detail to the outline of your products um, on projects as well. This is great. You're getting six pens in there, uh, which go from point eight to 0 0.05 as far as the um, thickness of the nib is concerned so brilliant for all sorts of projects those are 12.99 and then guess what you're getting the nina cardstock for a penny 
which is phenomenal. 16 sheet collection of your cardstock uh, for 1p within this collection. So these are an absolute perfect partner. £13 or £16.96 if you want to go for that collection. Right, um, next up. Ah, oh, yeah, right. Let's see if Jan can explain the madness here because I, I find it quite difficult to comprehend. So, right. So your multimedia dies, all right? So your multimedia nesting and dies. First up, they're amazing. And of course, being multimedia, you can use them across lots of different medias. Clues in the name. You're going to get these gorgeous butterflies, all right? So um, six of those, $24.99. Amazing. But for a penny, you then get the nesting triangles as well. Those... Right, it's not, if you're thinking, well, they, what, what are they normally? Five, those are 25 pounds normally. 20, this is a 50 pound bundle. You're getting those for a penny. Can you please explain that to me, Jan? You're it's the teacher. It's madness. I'm not sure I can, Ben. I, <laughs> I could try. But honestly, it's just absolute madness. Multimedia dies will cut through goodness knows how many different uh, mediums. So, you know, not just cardstock. You would cut through layers of cardstock. Mount board, leather, sort of going through, I'm just trying to think, felt, layers of fabric, you name it. You've seen us do the, the demos with the Gemini to show you the pressure in the Gemini. To actually get both of these for the price of one of them yeah. is ridiculous, honestly. And you've got, what is the 12 dies there, Ben, or more? There are uh, 13. More, aren't there? Yeah. 13. So, all those, I, I just, honestly, I can't, I'm, I'm lost, not very often I'm lost for words. I can't actually formulate a sentence because I'm just stunned by the price. You know, the triangles there, I mean, just looking at the picture on the, uh, the packet, absolutely brilliant for uh, the quilters out there. Yeah. So you know to get all your quilting elements exactly the right size for you to be able to form the patterns and things. And then those gorgeous butterflies. I'm just thinking, you know, multimedia, home decor, things like that. Perhaps you was introducing fabrics yeah. into your crafting. Even if you're a paper crafter, fabric elements on your cards, on your scrapbooks, Absolutely. things like that. Just gives you so much versatility. And that yeah. price is ridiculous. I can't see it being that again. So if this is something that interests you, I would be in there now while um, it's on offer. Just an amazing, amazing deal right there for you. Um, do not miss out. Just had a message from uh, Kelly on Facebook saying the art liners are sold out. I, I, we'll, have, we'll have to double check that. Ooh. I've not, not seen that. I had a message to whether or not you're trying to grab those. Uh, the art liners, George, you might want to just check that. Um, are sold out, apparently. So um, whether those have been uh, snapped up without us noticing, I'm not quite sure. But Kelly, we will look into that for you. Um, thank you, everyone, for all of the lovely messages coming in with pronunciations, which we will do in just a few moments <laughs> time right and um, the illustrator pens right again these are super just brilliant again if you are someone who's wanting to get into um, your coloring um, if you don't want to spend a huge amount of money but you still want to have uh, the kind of professional finish you've got that with these um, they're absolutely gorgeous within this collection uh, you've got your daffodil you've got your sunshine and yellow green your salad pearl blue and denim apricot pale tan your fruit pink uh, your baby pink, your hydrangea, and your lilac as well. If you um, want to get into your blending, these are absolutely perfect. Um, alcohol based, of course, and as you can see, uh, double end oh, there, double ended as well. So you've got your kind of um, fine tip, and then you've got your more sort of um, thicker end as well. If you want to, you know, get bigger coverage with these, um, twenty four ninety nine is what those are worth. And then for a penny, we are then throwing in these beautiful floral stamps as well. Remember, and something which I've not touched on, is that price that you're seeing on screen, you're obviously still getting your 20% off that if you're a Platinum member. Wherever you are within the um, Club Inspire, you are still getting your discount off the back of that as well. So that, again, is a really great deal to go for. Um, next up, we want to show you the Creator Card. Yes. <laughs> thought the batteries were running out then. Yeah. The... <laughs> I was going to come and wind you up quick then. <laughs> wind him up. Plug him in. 
It's all these pronunciations we're going to have to do in just a second. <laughs> oh. Right. Um, so this is your torn panel um, creator card, and the, the, it does exactly what it says on the tin for you. These are so clever, these creator cards, um, because it is just that, really, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a card and a die. It is, basically. Yeah, that's where it gets its name. So you don't have to do much more than use the die to literally create your card. And we're going to demo this in a second just to show you how it works, Ben. Um, so you get, you're picking up that for 14 99 and then for 1p from uh, Sarah's Rose Gold Collection, you are going to get this wonderful um, stamp set. And this is absolutely gorgeous because what it gives you is it gives you um, loads of uh, kind of family members. So you've got uh, sister, you've got cousin, you've got, well, I love it, you've got bestie in there as well. How often do you ever get that? as a, um, a little stamp. You know, you, you see things like mom and dad, but bestie, you don't get that often. I love that. You've got niece and auntie, and then you've got the ability to be able to build up your own uh, little sentiments as well. Um, so for example, you could have, this one is, I'm a, mm -mm, what's your superpower? So I'm a sister, what's your superpower? I'm a niece, what's your superpower? Um, you've got here, I'm smiling because you're my, for example, sister. Um, and laughing because there's nothing you can do about it. They're really cute, really funny. So if you like those kind of more sort of humorous uh, sentiments, you're going to love this. And you're going to love them for a fact that you're getting them for one P. Amazing value for money. Um, so those, again, um, within this deal. But go swiftly because we know that loads of items are flying out of the door already. Uh, so quick as you can. I'll come back to your comments in just a few moments time. But I feel like we need to see... Um, a demo because I've been chatting a lot and mucking about as well. I'll probably get told off. So let's do some let's do some demos. We're going to have a look at this creator card, Jan, aren't we? We are, yes. So I've got my actual uh, die out of the packet here, and it's it's called Torn Panel. And honestly, it's a really abstract design. And when I first saw this, I thought, oh, bit of a challenge there. But honestly, once you see it cut, it opens itself up to all sorts of things, and particularly with having things behind it. And don't forget, I'm going to use it this way, portrait. But don't forget this way. All of a sudden, I can see a forest there. So we've got the oh, yeah. uh, we've got the trees in the background. Silver birch trees. Yes, and then you could actually sort of have something behind it. If you stamp something behind it, peeking through there, couldn't you? So let's that. cut it out and see what it looks like. So we'll do that first. So I literally, I've just taped it down onto a piece of uh, white stamping card for my card blank. And I'm just going to turn it a little top tip with these. When you have anything that's a straight edge die like this, not even straight edge, it could be a border die. I tend to just, if you've got room on your plates, to just tip it a little bit like so. So you can see the straight edge of my plate, just tip it. That way it saves, if it's straight, it saves the roller jumping up. Sometimes Sometimes you get that clunky sound when it jumps on and off but just by tipping it that little bit the roller is going to come in contact with the corner before it gets the rest of it so let's just layer that up it's a thin metal die so I'm just going to put my magnetic shim plastic shim top plate and we're going to run that through the Gemini Ben and then I've already got some bits planned uh, some bits prepared for you uh -huh. so that we can literally go through this I want to try and fit as much in as I can with it just it's my first time doing an hour show flies by Jen so I want to try and fit as many uh, demos in as we can so uh, just pop that through there even says she used this die to make a shaker card yes I'm actually going to put some acetate behind it on this one mm. uh, so yeah you could you could easily build it up and put some foam tape behind it but yeah just actually uh, taking that off well I'm not going to take it off straight away because I want to add a little bit of detail to it so before I take the die off I'm going to use the die as like a masking area yeah um, I'll just show you on the back that it's out you can see that it's cut there but before I take all those pieces out what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the stencil that I had earlier oh yeah and literally just I want a bit of a board around the outside so I'm not too worried about where the die is but I'm just going to quickly round the outside here okay and I just want to add a little bit of color so that when we take the die away we've yeah. got a bit of a border Okay. around the outside now it's a different stencil to the one that I used on the uh, the sample card but I've just grabbed this one this is the one that we had earlier so again just all the way around the outside there just to add a little bit of color and all I'm using is one of my quick dry inks that I'd got to hand from uh, from the earlier show so you can see how that's just Ooh, popped yeah. that around the outside and then when we take the die away just gently take that out of the way you can see now that it's left that detail around there and we've mm. got that lovely panel all the edges are all it literally does look as if somebody's just torn yeah. the pieces out of it you know so again this way 
as I say, if you've got something stamped behind here, as if they were looking out through the trees. Yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, my mind works in mysterious ways, Ben, because I got to jail cell. Well, d from well there, Jan, you know. let me just say this. I was thinking in my mind, jail cell. Oh, but well, at least like, I'm not alone then, yeah. Well, I was saying, don't say that out loud. Don't say jail cell, even though, you, but I'm, so I'm glad that you said it. No, I was just seeing the bars. Yeah, we need to get, yeah, we'll put it over it, yeah. Producer George is going, can we put Ben behind that to make it look like he's in jail? I've not been that bad today, have I? <laughs> So what I'm going to do then, I've created a really, really nice, bright, vivid Ooh. panel with the inks again. So we've got some parakeet going on there. I can see the spring meadow. I've got the midnight one, just literally because I wanted to get some colour behind this here. You can see this now. So That's I'm going to gorgeous. stick this one in the back with the, uh, the good old Kalal again. Yep. Just get that one down in the back of there and just pop that in the back. And then I'm just gonna put a piece of acetate behind that torn panel. Gives it a slightly different look from the front because you get the, uh, the sheen from the acetate. So that one could go in the back. And then I've just cut a piece down that's just the right size to go on the back here. And again, if you don't like seeing uh, I called them the gubbins the other night, didn't I? That's the, a great word. I, I get that word. Gubbins is the a gubbins, word which is not used often All the often gubbins enough. behind it, all the sticky bits the uh, behind it. Then you can cut yourself a second panel with the die mm. and then just overlay it so that it covers this bit up. But by the gubbins, I mean now that you can see that tape the on the back. Yeah. yeah. Whoops. So if you don't want to see all that, whoops, let's get it on straight, Jan. That's it. Just literally use your die, cut another panel, and then you can stick that over the inside again. So we've got that going on there. And then simply all I'm going to add to this is just a little sentiment because we said the whole idea of this, the create a card die, mm. was to create a card. So all I'm going to do now then is with a little bit of, uh, I'll put this onto here and literally pop this on the bottom. Now, the one that I created at home was a little bit more colourful. I had a different stencil at home. So if we have a look at this one as a finished sample, a yeah. bit, bit brighter on the outside there. But yeah, you can just see with that uh, acetate behind it, it just gives it that, you just ca see it catching the light there. Yeah. Just gives it a different look. You could leave it open, but yeah, just by popping that in there just gives it that little bit of different look. But yes, yeah, certainly by building it and adding a, another layer with the foam tape would make a really great shaker card as well. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, there's loads of love for that um, demo. Mary Pat 1000 on YouTube just saying, oh, Jan, you, your technique just triggered a flurry of ideas. Excellent. I um, love it. Rosalind on Facebook. This is so pretty. I need to find that die. I know I have it somewhere. Yep. Lol. And actually, a lot of people um, liking the fact that you, uh, we saw that on the uh, horizontal as well, because Hanlor Furnace on Facebook saying, put one of the deer die cuts behind it. Yes. That would look The brilliant. deers and the stag, that would look lovely, wouldn't it? It really, yeah. really would. Turns Thank an you. everyday die there. I'm thinking yeah. turning it into a Christmas card as well then, so it's yeah. got more purpose, yeah? Super, super handy. Thank you for all these comments coming in. Thank you for all of the, Ben, can you pronounce this? Uh, messages which are coming in. So we, um, Gilmore says, Jan the teacher knows her pronunciations, Ben. So we've established, what is it, Des, Mo Des Moines? Des Moines. Des Moines. Yeah. Um, Anne says on Facebook, we have Thames River in Connecticut, but it's pronounced differently. Yeah, I, what do you say? Tame, Thames River, is it? Thames River? Uh, Mary says, I live in Armagh. I know how to pronounce that one. Uh, Susie T on YouTube says, Worcester, Massachusetts. I only know how to pronounce Massachusetts because that's the song by the Bee Gees, isn't it? And the lights. So went in Massachusetts. That's the one. Um, <laughs> and I think uh, Dieta on YouTube says, uh, "Here's one Ben to pronounce: Worcestershire steak sauce." What? I could do that one. Worcestershire steak sauce. There we go. <coughs> uh, Susan on Facebook says, "Ben, you pronounce everything beautifully. Don't stress over it. Lol, you are adorable." Well, that's nice. Thank you. Um, Sorry, producer George is just saying her friends used to laugh at her because she's from Loughborough. <coughs> she's, well, they thought it was pronounced what? Iris. Oh, I can't be bothered to, I can't be bothered to yeah, explain Yeah, we've it. got somewhere close by us that's actually pronounced uh, Lawton, but it's spelled Lafton on yeah. the sign. Yeah, there's so many different ones. What's yep. the place up here which is, um, pronounced, which is written H-O-U-G-H-T-O-N, La Spring? Is that Houghton the Spring or Houghton the Spring? Houghton, I think, yeah. I'm Houghton? not sure. I'm not sure on that one. We've Ooh. opened up a can of worms here, haven't we? With these pronunciations. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, even Let's we don't know how to pronounce places. 
we're going to get ourselves in a knot here, Ben, if we, we're not careful. Well, I'm already in a knot. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I've got to be honest with you. But I tell you what, one thing I do know is the deals are amazing um, on this show. This um, creator card, now we've just seen that demo, has seriously um, spiked everybody's interest because I, we're not talking about the lizard, which I can't pronounce, which um, producer George has just mentioned. Um, because this is great. This way up, amazing. That way, I love the idea of having that as yeah. um, someone was suggesting, put a little deer in there as well. And having those as like your, your woodland scene, yeah. I think that is amazing. Uh, and then, of course, on top of that, within this collection, you are going to get these beautiful sentiment stamps for 1p. Right, next up. Let's go down here and take a look at this bad boy from Sarah's signature collection. This is your glittering snowflakes. This is absolutely gorgeous. It is um, a vellum pad, six stunning designs, six of each. So you're getting 36 sheets. And what, right, first of all, just take a look at this as I flick through here. Whilst you might, may think to yourself, well, snowflakes, got to be Christmassy. No. When you're looking at some of the designs on here, yes, the snowflakes, a little bit more uh, on the Christmas front. There's so many beautiful vellum designs here for you to work on year round. And actually, this deal is phenomenal for the fact that this is, oh, this is $24.99, this vellum pad. Look at those snowflakes. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we're going to give you a, an amazing die and stamp set on top of all of this for a penny. That is quite sumptuous, and we'll get Jan's take on it in just a second, but I just wanted to make sure you know that you're getting that for $24.99, and then from the same collection, for 1p, you're going to get this gorgeous um, winter stamp and die collection as well. And this, again, is one of those collections where you get the, the main word, so in this case, winter, with that, you then get the die to be able to cut out the, the main focal point, and then you've got lots of other phrases and sentiments there to be able to build up your own sentiment around the winter. So it's super, super clever. A nice little uh, die and stamp set to have in your stash, and you are getting that home with this for 1p, which is amazing. £25, $33, take off another 20% if you are a Platinum member. That represents massive value for money. £20 or 20 oh no, hang on a minute. But it's 660 off 33, isn't it? So it's 2640. Those are good maths right there. Yeah. Don't sound so surprised. I may not be able to pronounce stuff, but I can do me maths. Um, it's gorgeous. Absolutely love this. Um, so as I say, £25 or $33 is the deal on that. Um, Lots of messages still coming in, which we will come back to uh, in a few moments' time. Uh, where are we going next? Oh, the ink dauber storage. Yes, just let's quickly show you that, because again, this proved um, uber popular early on. These are great. Uh, again, you're going to get uh, 40 of these included within this collection. You're also going to get the little storage box as well. So super handy to use with your um, opaque pigment. And funnily enough, you are going to get uh, your opaque pigment with this as well in the pink tulip. Um, so again, a really, really super collection to go for. $24.99, 1p. I'll show you that again. $24.99, 1p. Um, don't miss out on that. We've also got on the show... I was thinking this would have come in super handy earlier on when, uh, who, who was it? I think it was, it was, it was Leanne, wasn't it? When she was doing the, um, uh, the, the, uh, the, what was it called? The, um, help me, dragonfly, thank you. I can't think of the word of dragonfly today, but when she was saying about fussy cutting around the dragonfly, this would be absolutely perfect because this is your swivel craft knife. So again, super perfect if you are um, you know, fussy cutting, if you need them to go around corners, this is absolutely perfect. Jan, you can stop it over there. They're laughing at me now because I can't think of the word dragonfly and I just keep doing that. George heard me. It was a poorly dragonfly though. It only had one wing, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody help me. Oh. Uh, but yes, you've got your swivel craft knife, uh, 4 99 You've got your replacement blades with that as well for a penny. Saving 25%. Um, and of course, you get an extra 20% off that as well. Talking of swiveling. No, we're not going, not going where you think. Uh, the... <laughs> 
The rotating board is flying out of the door. I am not surprised because um, it is simply one of the best uh, pieces of kit that we've got. I love it. So simple in its design, but so super useful for all your drawing, for all of your sketching, for all of your colouring, for so much more. It is brilliant. It really is. And we chatted earlier on as well, actually, um, particularly for left-handers. Um, I just remember um, a, a, a chap I used to go to school with and watching him write and how when he was writing, as he was going along, he was obviously smudging. Perfect, because you can angle that exactly where you want it to be. It's 14 99 and then you're getting your hello stamp for a penny on top of that. Wow. Um, thank you for all these messages coming in. We'll come back to them in just a few moments. Time. There's lots of laughing emojis on the uh, socials today. <laughs> Whether you're laughing at me or laughing with me, I'm not quite sure. But let's go over to the creative side of the studio. <laughs> uh, what are you going to be showing us next, Jan? We're going to have a look at some of that vellum from that beautiful oh, yes. pad. And I'm going to create a card using some of the vellum and some of those um, wintry sort of designs on this one. But honestly, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I've just cut some pieces from that pad, uh, really sort of translucent looking and so nice to use on your cards rather than yeah. a cardstock. It just gives a really delicate finish and even though we're sort of on a bit of a wintry theme I just think you know you could use that pretty much any time of Absolutely. year and yeah we've got a few snowflakes going on on this one but uh, I would use that I think you know sort of right, right through the winter it's not necessarily uh, I mean winter you know over here in the UK can last for uh, several months you so, use uh, it all year round to be fair yeah you're, you're <laughs> gonna get plenty of use out of it so what I've done I've done quite a bit of prep because it's a nice little card this I'll show you the finished one so I've actually taken this has actually come from a piece of A3. You can actually see the length of this now. And I've actually cut it, and we're looking at 16 and a half, which is your length of a piece of A3. Yeah. And we're looking at seven inches uh, tall or, or wide, whichever. And then scored it. We scored it into three sections at just over five and a quarter. All right. So yeah, this one we're actually going to go, we're actually going to make quite an interesting design with this one. Now the top tip that I would give you is on this edge here, I don't know whether we can get our George zooming in again here, just if you can see this edge here George, you can see that there's actually a gap, let me just bring it, there we go, alright, and what I've done is I've cut a sliver off this end here yeah just because there's a gap because i want this to close nicely so the actual full length would have been just that sort of couple of mil longer but just by taking a sliver off there it means that this is going to close up nicely now i've used our stitched um oval yes, yes. it's the new fancy shaped ones i love this one uh on the front here to make an aperture all right, and I've got several pieces of vellum already cut. So I've done one that's going to fit around the outside. So let's pop these and I'm going to pop these on with our double sided tape pen. All right, it's great for the vellum. So literally just along the edges here and let's get these stuck in place. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to pop a little bit of, whoops, a pop on there. And then I'm literally, let's open it up so that I can see a wee bit better there. I just want to line this up, use the same die, it's the same Ooh, width yes. and everything here. Turn that one round that way. Laura's just put on Facebook, that vellum screams to be stroked and stared at. Oh, not kidding, honestly. Really? Stroke your vellum, yeah? Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. And, and, and sort of like paper pads, sniffing at paper pads. I, yeah, I've heard of the sniff, I get you, it. sniff your paper pads. I pad. get it, honestly. It's just one of those things oh. that us crafters do, Ben. Right. Just stroking the paper and sniffing at the paper. Stroke and sniff. <laughs> They're in fits of laughter now in the gallery. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> there we go. So that's my front. And then on the inside, I'm going to pop this piece on the back of here. All right, so again, we'll just use some of that double-sided tape on the back. Oh, and then I've got a little trick. The reason I've prepped a lot of this is that there's quite a few bits to it, but I've got a little trick to go okay. at the end for you. So again, it's brilliant for the vellum. Honestly, vellum's not the easiest thing to stick down, but the, yeah. uh, the double-sided tape pen does work a treat. And then we're going to pop this one on the bottom here. So again just using that double-sided pen 
Here we go. So again, we're going to pop that one on the inside there. Uh -huh. And then I've cut a piece of silver glitter card for the middle. Um, I just wanted to break up the, um, the vellum. So we're just going to go with a piece of silver from our luxury card packs there in the middle. So again, the tape pen will work nicely with this one. Okay. So let's pop that one. And then I've got some uh, embellishments that we've cut out at the ready. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right. So just looking at that so far. So we're going to end up with sort of like a, a little type of easel card going yeah. on there. Yeah. So on the front of, the, well, we'll do the inside first. I've got some uh, winter cutouts here and I've got a beautiful, um, here we go. Let me just take this one off snowflake that i've cut out so that winter um comes with it obviously doesn't it the little cutout yes. you've got at the bottom of your screen yeah. yeah so again just pop this one off gently because it's got all those lovely little filigree pieces on the on the snowflake there so i don't want to damage it just take it off a little bit at a time and what i'm going to do is pop this one at the top here about centered and then we're going to go with this one. I'm going to use a little bit of my uh, tacky glue here just to pop this and create a little bit of a shadow. I really like this. This was like the winter scene we had last Wednesday up here, wasn't it? Or last it was, Thursday. yeah. Do you know, my glue's... Uh, oh, has it gone? It's been naughty again. Try a bit of that one. Did this on me last week. I think I need a new applicator bottle. I think it's saying I had enough. Let me retire because <laughs> it's used and used and used. So all I'm going to do with this one is just make a little drop shadow. So hover it over the top. Yeah. Just pop it there where we can see. Hover it over the top and then just bring it down and to the right a wee bit, and you get that nice little shadow going on. And then again, we'll pop that one underneath there. So that's going to be the inside parts. Yeah. There. Gorgeous. And then for the front, if I flip it over again, we've got, um, I've used that same die and the larger one to create a little panel there. And because this is so delicate, I've done it with some double-sided adhesive on the back. Okay. So a nice, easy way to, to get it to stick down. And again, because it's been cut with that same die, we've got a lovely match going on there. Just to frame that and pick up that glitter card that we had on the inside. Okie dokes, and then I've got walking in a, and we've got the winter inside, Wonderland, okay? And then the last bit there, I've got another one of the, um, the snowflakes. So let's just pop those on, and then I'll show you my little trick. Right, just if whilst we do that as well, um, Hannah Law was asking um, about stamping on vellum. What type of ink works best if you wanted to stamp on your vellum? Um... If you're using our ink pads, I yeah. would go with one of the quick dries. Okay. Yep. But we were talking about this the other day in that it needs heat setting. So because vellum um, is sort of almost like a shiny surface, then you would need to heat set your uh, ink. And all I mean by heat setting it is using your heat tool to just basically dry the surface of the ink. Otherwise it will just stay wet yeah. on the top of there. If you have got other brand inks, uh, the stays on works really well uh, on something like that. And again, I would just, just sort of go over it with a heat tool uh, just to sort of finish it and, and dry it off so that it's not damp. Um, with it being a sort of a shiny surface. Okay. So we're going to pop this one at the bottom here like this. All right, and I've just realized I'd have been better off. Um, let me just see if I can get that one back off. I want some foam pads on that one because this is going to be the stopper uh, for my yeah, easel. So yeah, let me just quickly pop a couple of foam pads on that one. Because I want it to create a, a stopper. So uh, let me just pop those on there. Get rid of the backs. Oops. I'd say at this point as well, I've just looked at the clock. We've got 15 minutes left. Where's You're the time? kidding me. No, nah, 15 minutes. Um, if you have any questions at this point, now is the time to get those questions in because uh, time is flying by. Uh, lots of people saying that they're loving this show. Uh, lots of hilarity. I'm glad to know, uh, Tammy and Lynn, that you're laughing with us. With us, of course. at us, which is... Which is very good. Um, we've got so some... that's actually my card oh, yeah. design there. But my little trick... Just to pop, I don't know whether we'll be able to see it in the... Uh, I've just got one of those little 
battery operated candles in oh, there. Oh yeah, we've got so the bright know. lights Can we zoom in, in a little bit there? You can just see it flickering. Yeah. In the <laughs> so back. cover it out, there you go. Yeah, in the background there, yeah? Yeah. So just, it is literally just one of the battery operated ones that you can turn on and off. And just to pop it in the back there, just to sort of give that little flicker of a little bit of win win winter warmer in the back yeah. there, yeah? Love just to it. see that flickering, as I say, in the back. Yeah? That's really, Fantastic. really special. Um, let me just show you, actually, the um, vellum pack that you're getting with this. And remember, if you go for this collection where you get the stamp and die set for a penny, then you can recreate... Uh, that demo, no problem at all. That's the vellum there. That's the um, the pattern which we were just looking at um, a few moments ago. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And like we said, you know, this, this one here particularly, there's nothing that sort of um, Christmassy about that necessarily. You can work this into all sorts of makes right throughout the year. Yes, the snowflake ones, I suppose, go to a little bit towards wi uh, towards winter and Christmas. But then again, absolutely, you've got gorgeous um, vellums in here that you can use year round, and then you get the winter stamp and die set for a penny included with that collection. It's gorgeous. You get your main uh, winter stamp with that die included in there too. And then all of the sentiments as well. £25, $33, that's $24.99. That's a penny. Unbelievable. Uh, just to remind you again of the rotating board. Very busy for that. It's proving so, so popular. Honestly, get this whilst you can at this deal because you get that um, hello stamp thrown in for a penny as well. But it's so amazing, as we said, um, particularly if you are into your colouring, if you are into your sketching, if you are into your drawing, it just makes life so easy because you literally rotate that board rather than having to struggle around your design uh, that you're um, you know, drawing or colouring in. £16, that's £15.99. That is 1p. Unbelievable value for money and it is flying out of the door. Right, um, we'll come back and read some more of your uh, messages in just a few moments time. Uh, Panda Cross saying, love those snowflakes. Suzette saying, Jan, you're knocking it out of the park today. Thank you, absolutely. And I tell you what, if you've ever wondered uh, what the best way to watch us here on uh, Crafters TV is, here is a little video to tell you everything you need to know. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Um, so there you go. I'm just, do you know what? If, if no one else knew what was going on on this show and picked up the tablet and read back some of the messages, they will, they will, they will look at this and go, what on earth were they going on about during the show? Um, I love in fact, we had that message earlier on from, who was it? Laura saying the vellum uh, screams to be stroked and stared at. Gilmore on YouTube says, and sniffing the photopolymer stamps. Um, <laughs> I mean, whatever, really. Gilmore also says, ever since... Right, so I'll, I'll say this very quickly because you're probably getting bored of this. I didn't know up until about a week ago that um, the word iguana was pronounced iguana. I always thought it was iguana. Um, <laughs> an iguana. An iguana. It's an iguana. It's not an iguana, George. You see, all the best people say that. Um, ever since iguana, says Gilmore, I started overlooking uh, his pronunciations. We love you though, Ben, uh, and we love Jan. Uh, so here's a couple of you very quickly, because I know we've been doing pronunciations, I know we've got to move on. So uh, let's see how clever you guys are. So Diana on Facebook, there's a place in Norfolk, W-Y-M-O-N-D-H-A-M. -M, so it's written as Wymondham. How would you pronounce that? Does anyone know? Wymondham. Do you pronounce that? Hmm? W-Y, say again, W, what was it? W-Y-M-O-N-D, ham. Wymondham, Wymondham? Wyndham. Wyndham. Right, and just, Wyndham. you do, and apparently, and, and uh, uh, George will tell me if I'm wrong here, in North Devon, 
there's a place which is written down uh, as Wolfard is worthy. Do you know this one, George? So it's, it's written W-O-O-L-F-A-R-D-I-S-W-O-R-T-H-Y. So it's written as Wolfard is worthy, right? Do you know how you pronounce that? Wolsery. Wolsery. I mean, Do you know, there's what? nothing as weird as the English language, is I there? I know. Seriously. If you, you, no wonder I'm confused. Trying to teach this to young primary age children was a challenge and a half, honestly. <laughs> Poor things, how, never, how they picked it up, I do not know. I know. As I'm still picking it up, and I'm nearly 42. Um, right, let, let's talk about these illustrators, right? So the, the collection that you're going to get here is um, absolutely gorgeous. So it's the 12-piece um, collection, uh, and you can see all of these gorgeous colours that you're going to get here. If you're in, into your blending, absolutely, these are going to be perfect for you. Um, alcohol dye-based, of course, and those are worth $24.99. You get on top of those for a penny, uh, this gorgeous floral stamp collection. Let, let's just, because I know we're going to go into a demo and we, we are rapidly running out of time. We have so many different um, uh, pens available. So for people who are just seeing the illustrators for the first time, Jan, um, just explain why we might want these illustrators as opposed to a tri-blend, for example. I think the biggest uh, benefit of the illustrator is the fact that it's got that beautiful brush nib on it. Yeah. So our tri-blends and our classic pens have got the bullet nib on. This is the dual tip and it's got the bullet nib for the smaller areas. So you can see there that we've got that lovely little nib for smaller areas of for writing. But honestly, the brush tip on these is yeah. stunning. Absolutely stunning. And you can get lots and lots of effects. I've just started colouring on my image here. But if I just bring in um, a piece of scrap, let me just grab a piece of scrap card. Um, these actually, you know, you can sort of, particularly if you've got like um, the browns and the grey tones for things like animal fur and stuff like that. But yeah, literally, yeah. you know the flicks with it. Oh, yes. So if I actually did this with one of the greens, you can see that we've got that sort of like, um, you know, the grass effect going on yeah now i would struggle to do this with a bullet nib uh, they really are and honestly you can start and uh, you can play around with them because just things like just being able to press the but that the nibs down to the cardstock you can start making patterns with them oh awesome so you can make you know we've got and again i'm, I'm working on this uh, this board again because i love it if it's missing at the end of the show guys yeah it's not in my bag, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you can, because this nib will, will go flat, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the greatest at this, but those of you that like doing the writing, you know, you can sort of do that sort of upstrokes and downstrokes. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not the best at this. Sort of like your calligraphy style. Yeah. yeah. So the upstrokes are thin ones, and then by pressing it down, yes, yes. you can get the, uh, you know, this, this is not the best example. Hey, it's but, pretty so, good. I like it. But you can see, you see the idea of it. There are people out there that are much better at this than I am. Yeah. So the upstrokes are meant to be um, the thinner ones. Yeah. And then by bringing it down flat, just more pressure, yeah. you can just get that, that sort of one on there. So That's not great. the best, but I like it gives it. you an idea of it. Yeah. But what I was just doing here, I get, I'm, I'm on my board again because I absolutely love this. It's oh, the yeah. first time I've actually seen it for real. And honestly, I love it. So what I was doing was just making a start colouring here just to pop this into a card. So uh, done a few uh, bits already. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of shading around the middle there. And this is just all I'm, I'm very, very quickly on this. And then we've got uh, a little bit of yellow, I think, to go in the centres there. And again, I'm using that brush tip. It's a great way of getting uh, quite a bit of ink down as well, if you've got a larger area to work with. And then I've got the green one here. Uh, I'm going to use the bullet nib for these finer areas here. Yeah. But then you've got, as I say, that brush nib. And it, it is beautiful quality. Leanne's done a lot of work with our Spectrum Noir range to get this perfect. Um, the inks in the pens, the, 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 the Japanese nibs that we use on them, just make them really, really easy to work with. So again, because I've got a, a slightly larger area, I can apply that colour so much quicker with that brush nib than you could with... And just forgive me, because this is not my best colour, and I am going quite quick, because I'm just concerned that that hour has just I, literally passed I, us by. What did I say to you before we started? You did, yeah. Didn't I? 
I don't know where Absolutely the hour goes. Absolutely flown by. I'm used to doing a two-hour show, so yeah. uh, I am good. But I have got to finish one that I can show you for this. But I just think having this, the board that turns instead of having, I would normally keep turning my cardstock round. But yeah, just having that to uh, to play with. The only thing I haven't done, which I would follow my own advice, really, would be to put a piece of scrap card underneath there. So really, I should be working on a piece of scrap oh, okay. so that it absorbs any ink. That, uh, that would go through. So yeah, we've got, um, if I just use a little bit of the blue on there just to bring out a darker green because I'm using what I've got in that pack. Just amazing, isn't it? And but honestly, you can get some really, really good designs on there. Yeah. And I've actually cut this out with one of the um, the stitched designs again. So if I show you that one up close, you've got that stitched rectangle, that fancy rectangle on there. But what I wanted to do is just show you one that's been coloured in a bit more carefully. And just by adding that to a little card blank, using that die again to get the shape, but with the colouring and the sentiment on there, it makes a lovely letter. I've just seen these as a set maybe stamped out in different colors and then a little gift box and you could have them all as sort of little thank you cards or something like that just make a lovely little gift set for someone to use as maybe a thank you card or just something along those lines yep um absolutely brilliant um so many uh, great demos not in just initially but right across uh, the day today um Panda Craft is saying on YouTube, where does the time go? Do you know what? Honestly, you step into this studio and it's like Jam was saying, it's like stepping into some sort of like time, warp. time vortex, like time warp. It just flies by. Uh, and Fred on YouTube saying, flew by like a one winged dragonfly. <laughs> um, just very quickly to wrap up before I fly on out of here uh this is the deal on your um your illustrators so there you go um your jewel tipped um, pens there so you've got in there your uh, daffodil sunshine yellow green salad your pearl blue your denim your apricot your pink tan pale tan uh your fruit pink your baby pink your hydrangea and your lilac 24.99 Want these for a penny? Go on then. You're going to get those beautiful floral stamps thrown in for good measure as well. Remember, the deals that we're, we're showing you here are uh, as is, but then you can take off wherever you are within the uh, Club Inspire up to 20% off that as well. But without doubt, across the course of not just this show, but the earlier Craft Vault show as well, the item which you have been buying in your droves is the rotating board. It is phenomenal. We are now over 40% of a big stock gone. 15.99, you're getting the hello stamp for a penny. And let's just kind of wrap up where, where we started with this. If people are looking at this and just going, oh, that's just a rotating board, why do I need it? You've used it for the first time today, and why do you think people will need this in their life? I mean, I, I, as you know, I am a stamper and a colour, and I just think having that facility to move the board rather than your actual project uh, is, is just like a, a, a deal breaker for me. And it, it's so, it moves just so freely. Yeah. Literally, I've, I'm barely touching this. Either way, 360 degrees, it's a really solid surface to work on. I'm envisaging, I'm, I'm going to go home and order one of these. I'm envisaging this sort of on my lap tray uh, so being able to sit and work in the lounges that have been in the craft room so you can stamp all the bits out that you need in the craft room take it and work of an evening you've got the bulldog clip which is free so you can decide whereabouts you want to anchor your work in order to work it particularly great I think if you're left-handed mm. I know I used to have lots of trouble at school with the kiddies that were left-handed smudging their work as they went along but the fact that this is anchored and they can actually work away from themselves literally I would have it at this angle so that I can work on it and you know you could have it wherever you want it it could just be clipping a few notes on there while you're working at the bottom of it absolutely stunning I just think this is going to change the way people craft with regards to having that rotation device on it brilliant couldn't have said it better myself really it is a brilliant brilliant product uh, and if that one goes missing at the end of the show we know <laughs> where it's gone um jan love spending the afternoon with you it's been brilliant do you know when you're back with us here at uh, i've got TV? a few days off now i'm back at the end of the month ben i'm here for three shows i believe on the 31st right at the end of january 
Yeah. Well, we yeah. will look forward to that. Producer George has gone, oh, will you be with me? So Fantastic. that's good, isn't it? The top team back together again. Um, what I will say is, if you've missed any of the shows today, particularly the, uh, the Craft Vault shows as well, you can catch up on all of the deals and all of the demonstrations. It's been a brilliant day today, honestly. We had a Wake Up Call with Craig with Leanne. We've had uh, the Masterclass with the Foil Press with Leanne. We had Creative Cravings, that amazing Peacock collection, which uh, Jan joined us for, of course, a little bit earlier on as well. We had a couple of Craft Belt shows too, lots to look back on. So if you have missed it all, don't forget you can catch up on uh, Facebook and on our YouTube page as well. Uh, Jan, once again, thank you so much. Always love being in your company. You're welcome. Um, and uh, Jan, we'll see you on the 31st. I will see you uh, tomorrow. We'll do it all over again. Craig is back on uh, the wake up call from nine o'clock UK time. Uh, and then it's a day, a little old me, Craig and Debbie Robinson. What's she like? Uh, she will be in the house tomorrow as well. Whatever you're doing, enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy the rest of your evening, and make sure you come back and join us tomorrow once again here on Crafters TV.